It'll come in. We'll be starting in just a second here. Appreciate it. Okay. Sure, why not? Let's use a toilet. Sam, Hartman here. Researcher devoted to uncovering the secrets of the beaches and the Death Stranding, as well as those of dudes and repatriates. When you relieve yourself, a certain amount of chiral matter is flushed from your system. Chiral matter can adversely affect hormone secretion and nervous function. There's a correlation between exposure and the development of phobias, as well as, in extreme cases, violent and suicidal impulses. Chirelium contamination has even been postulated as a trigger for the onset of dooms. Allow me to collect a sample of your excretions for my studies. They provide a non-invasive means to monitor your exposure to Chirelium and your overall health. Mm. Good to know. Oh. Well, howdy. Well, have you had a chance to think it over? Chock full of Chirelium, but safe for you Dooms guys to wear. That's all you'll need to go forth and reconnect the world. To make us whole again. I'm a porter. I don't care about connecting anything. Mm. Or making knots. <clears throat> but I'll do what I have to. To help Amelie out. That's crazy. Listen up, Sam. The terminals Amelie's people built in the towns and cities they passed through on their journey west are called knots. The infrastructure's there, but the Cairo network is offline. Right now, it's only capable of transmitting voice communications, sometimes wired, sometimes wireless, and a small amount of data. So, unless the necessary data stored on site, our chirograms won't show up. Emily and the other Bridges members you've seen around the place are grams generated with local data. In case you didn't know. Anyway, all you've got to do is find the knot, connect your cupid, and bring Cairo communications online. Once you connect it to the terminal, you'll be able to initiate zero-time massive data transmission with the UCA network. And just like that, you'll reconnect us not only to each other, but to our past. All the lost and fragmented junk data will be compiled and restored. Like bringing a dinosaur back to life from a fossil. Oh, come on. 
man. 4.6 billion years of history on Earth. All the wisdom and knowledge we lost since the Death Stranding will be ours again. And that, my friend, is how we'll beat this thing. Once you establish Cairo Communications, generating grams won't be an issue. You'll also be able to use Cairo printers. Won't be long before we're able to send all kinds of things through the wire. Except anything original. Or that's got a soul. Nothing real. Just copies. True. Which is why we'll still need porters like you. Before and after we're made whole, we'll need men in the middle. No rest for the wicked, huh? Yeah, well, idle hands and all that. We'll give you the details at the dispatch terminal. Make sure you check it upstairs. Drop's waiting up there, too. Hmm. Good to know. These shoes look like they've done some serious miles. Shall I dispose of them? Wait. Hold on. There's something I want you to look into. My blood seemed to set those things off. Happened more than once. Set them off? How do you mean? I don't know. You took my blood, didn't you? You tell me. All right. I'll see what I can do. Hmm. So that's the first time they've reacted to blood? Ah! <laughs> oh, another memory. Look at all the emotes. City distribution center. Okay, head west. This takes us home. I think so. It doesn't seem like there's anything else going on in here. Is that what this is? Sam, this is Die Hardman. Your current objective is to extend the Cairo network from here to Port Knot City. But don't think you can make a beeline straight for it. Signal won't carry that far. To cover the distance, we need to utilize knots. Think of it like tying ropes together to make a longer rope. Mm. The first of these knots is a bridge's way station. Go ahead and take a look at the order. Deliver whatever they need, and connect the cupid. Private locker. Your private locker can be used to store cargo and the like.
two separate pairs of boots, huh? Baton. Sam, now we've supplied you with some rope and a ladder for this run. Mm. They should help with the steeper inclines, and the ladder will also make a halfway decent bridge if you need to cross a river. Right now, I figure you're thinking about how you want to handle this order. He's got some armor going. <laughs> oh, so this is equipment. Climbing anchors. Just urinating in general. And then ladders. Going this way, I guess. Sam, you see that sign someone left over there? You can leave some of your own if you'd like. Messages, oh, yeah, it was warnings, a lot of equipment. words of encouragement, whatever comes to mind. I have a bunch of likes. Alright, let's do shit. Yeah, this is a lot of equipment. Which is a 
roundabout way of saying, but that thing on your shoulder can help you locate mislaid shipments. Tell you what. hands but whatever it is I can't do anything with it yet See you brought in some lost cargo. Feel I free sure to did. submit it here for processing. Oh, okay. If you come across any more while out on a run and don't think you can carry it to its destination, you can always put it in storage. Hmm. It'll be safe and secure until another porter comes along to finish the job. Even if it has to pass through a dozen more hands before it arrives, you can rest easy knowing you did your part. Fair enough. people. Days are gone. Sam, if you come up against a sheer cliff or a steep slope, don't forget about the ladder we issued you. Be sure to try it out. I'd be interested to see what use as a seasoned pro like you might find for it. 
Don't worry, I got it. Portion of food. There's one up there. I don't know if we're gonna get off that though. Giving us a path, so dang, it's all the way around. Oh god, uh, we're definitely not gonna make it on top of that cliff. I'll tell you what. Maybe we'll get on top of the cliff. This is actually working out better than I thought it would. Nothing else around me while I'm here. Was oh, that what that is? A rope? Oh, or is this just a bad area? This connects her from Chiral Network. <laughs> Started there. So we need to get here. That's what's up. There's got to be a better way down. to go back down the way we came in circle. This, none of these seem safe. Maybe right there. Oh, don't fall off. Oh, God. So much weight going on. I think we can make it down over here. If not, then oh, God. I think this will do, though. up there. All the fog everywhere. Seems to be the best 
spot to cross at. drop all this off here. I have a lot of shit on him back. That cargo is cargo. We don't need to get the cargo, but I want to get the cargo. Oh, so don't need the cargo, but I'd like to be able to get all the cargos. Forgetting you have to confirm it. Oh, come in. Oh, this means we can't grab though, it's the only issue. And I have to go on back. It's the only option there is. That's super slow.
take gonna take too long. It's, I don't wanna. I don't wanna do all that. This backup fuel takes up a lot of space. But it'll do so much for me. Welcome in. Anybody joining? Let me know your day's going. Um. Small sized items. I'm just gonna have to load something. You're gonna have to go with me now. I could super slowly carry it over here, but I'd rather not. can do it. We're almost there, Sam. Almost there. Just a little bit more. one man Let's see if we can drop these off here and go back to the other guy Drugs. Thank you. We've all been feeling the loss of Central Knot City. No one seemed to know what it meant for the organization. Or the UCA. Or us. The oxytocin will take the edge off and that'll be a big help. Won't be long before we're back on track. We may have a look. <laughs> this is great. Thank you again. Yeah, everything looks to be in good order. And soon our way station will be too, I hope. That's the plan. Likes on likes on likes on likes. You're with the second team, right? Where are the others? Dead. Caught in the void out. No way. That one blast got them all? 
And what, they Seems just so. sent you out on your own? I mean, if it was just a delivery, that'd be one thing. Porters come through from time to time, but... The second team was meant to bring the Cupid. They were gonna connect us up. Three years we've been waiting for help. Three years! And they sent us one guy who's... Shit, shit, shit! Tell me you brought more than the Oxy, at least. I've got the Cupid. You... Really? So it's true. I finally got it working. Well, then you just might be the answer to my prayers. So, what are you waiting for? But you, you put us on the goddamn grid? Some crazy shit there, baby. A new day for ECA. Good old trophy. A new strand established. Post box. Cool. Is there you're not gonna determine the network? Enable you to see and access other player structures, etc. Okay. Capital not city confirmed. It's really happening. What, just like Amelie promised. We can finally do what we came here to do. Hey, you're headed west, right? Gonna be a lot of people happy to see you. I guess you'll keep on till you hit the coast, huh? Which means you'll get to see Amelie in person. Oh, that's something. That is really something. I... Me, I've never met her. Only seen her hollow messages back when I was with the first expedition. Well, anyway, you best be careful on the road. There's some bad people out there. More than good, some say. <laughs> but I don't need to tell you that. Thank you, Sam. By bringing that way station into the Cairo network, you've put it in direct contact with those of us back here in Capital Knot City. Right. What's next? West of the way station are a couple of structures our previous expedition put in place. And beyond them is your next destination, Port Knot City. It's on the shore of a crater lake that formed after the first void out. Your objective is to link up Port and Capital Knot. But to do that, you'll need to utilize our facilities as additional waypoints. They'll be essential for establishing a stable connection. Given the distance we need to cover, we're looking at using a distribution center and a power station, as to which you should head for first. Start with the distro center. We've got some cargo that needs delivering anyway. Check the nearby delivery terminal to pick it up. Good work. New order. Your hard work's paying off, Sam. Thanks to the increase in network capacity, HQ is now in a position to provide you with additional materials and support. Hmm. Should prove useful. I'd hope so. Weapons and equipment can be fabricated using materials provided by facilities. The amount of materials available at a given facility will differ depending on the facility type. Hmm. Let's deliver this lost cargo first and foremost.
Mm. And you as a porter who can be relied on, relied upon for basic orders with the uh, with time and effort, you may one day be recognized as a true legend. I thought he was already thought of as a legend. You have reached miscellaneous grade 10. You will now receive more likes. Okay. Welcome in. Anybody joining? Let me know how your day's going. can be used to build structures, but be aware that doing so will use up some of the Shiro bandwidth available to you. Structures can be shared with other players once built. New structures cannot be built within the area around an existing facility marked with sensor poles. Okay. Post box can be used to return lost cargo or entrust cargo for delivery by others. The shared locker function can be used to exchange weapons and equipment with other players. The private locker function can be used to temporarily store personal cargo and equipment. Okay. One's fine. I designated and build that post box, would you? You should have no trouble finding it if you check your map and compass from time to time. Weapons restrictions lifted. Did new stuff pop up for me to gather? Cause I don't think this was here a second ago. At least I don't think it was. You know what, let's go that stupid ladder. <laughs> I shout in the dark. Yeah, we can we can put another ladder right here. I, I don't know how often we're gonna need ladders, so I don't want to like go crazy about my ladders. But don't always work out, you know. I need a more flat surface that lines up.
They're really making this difficult for me. this. shit out. Well, that's handy. Boy. Yeah, well, I'm not worried about restoring stamina right now. Just want to get this huge ass crate off of me really quick. Takes off a good portion of weight. There's a thing all over there, though. Got this, Sam. Don't give up. Over there. Let's 
we'll grab this one and then go for that one, I guess. Might be able to get a ladder across over here, actually. Makes things a little bit more simple. more fuel, one of the big ones. That's gonna weigh a ton. Keep on trucking down. Emergency provision. Badass canister off of me. God, this is heavy. Yeah, I know, right? That's why we're trying to get it off you as fast as we possibly can. fun with that. Delivering Enjoy cargo. your cargo. I'm so glad you're here. Gotta say, you truly are incredible. That's done and done. All right then. Thanks for everything. Good work. Okay, it's a nice weight off of us. Let's see if we can load this differently. Alright, 
better. Alright, what are we up to next? This is what we're up to. This way, huh? If only we didn't have this huge pack of materials on our back. This would be a lot easier. For the DS, assuming there's a way immediately, there's a small amount of blood and more that one can be eaten. At time if required, can be stored if necessary for later use. It is said to have a distinctive taste. Don't need to eat one, it seems. So we'll keep on trucking on. You've got to be curious. Move 44 death. Anyone? Anyone? Here, have a like. I don't understand, but have a like. So this is where enemies come in to try to steal my cargo? That's what you're trying to say? Sometimes you got this. This way. It's another one of those things over there that scan you. I don't know how close you have to be if I have to actually scan you if you're just leaving. The end that he was talking about. Oh, upside down rainbow. Mules gave you trouble, huh? Good thing it's raining. Even they know better than to mess with BTs. Items. 
over there. Let's go grab this shit over here then, I guess. Seems to be lots of it. Oh, there's a thing over here that drops it off. Thank you, George. Thanks for the help. Thank you very much. Oh. A little less weight on me. Metals, resin, more metals. Lots of stuff going on. Metals. They're destroyed apparently. What? Is it going close by? You're oh, stomping. There's a whole ton of shit over there. Alright, you lay down. Metals even worth getting if they're destroyed like that? Because it says destroyed. Is it even worth it? I don't think there's much point if it's all destroyed.
Oh boy. doesn't look so hot. <sighs> Nothing to worry about. Its functions are temporarily suspended, but they can be restored. I can perform the necessary maintenance at a distribution center. Hurry, though. At the very beginning of the game, I, I'm not sure when exactly things get crazy. Or if they get crazy at all, I was just told it gets better. So I'm just waiting and seeing. Is that supposed to mean there's like a car or something over there? A motorcycle, maybe? We can get our hands on a motorcycle, that'd be awesome. When the strain on your BB exceeds sustainable levels, it triggers the production of harmful compounds, and the body, in essence, begins to attack itself. It's called autotoxemia. If your BB's not performing to spec, drop by your private room and see if the incubator helps. Yeah, most of those hours were me trying to get to places, because everything's so much. It takes forever just to get them somewhere. And you just collect all these packages along the way. At least I think it's still the beginning, like we just learned about the president. curtain. I hope that means I can get a motorcycle here. Because that will make this a lot easier. That looks like a motorcycle to me. Vehicle right now. Beginning scan. Scanning bridges ID. Verifying ID. Clear. All weapons will remain locked until departure. Cargo verified. Thank you. Decontaminating suit. Rest. 
I don't plan on healing the BB. Okay, never mind, we'll do this. Oh, now we're getting cups. There's your metal. Wake Station folks told me all about you. Sam Bridges, with the second expedition, right? The guy expanding the chiral network on his lonesome. What, he's not out making deliveries. So would you bring us? Let's see it. Talk about above and beyond. <laughs> Thanks. Must have had to pass through BT territory to get here too, didn't you? Oh yeah. <laughs> they weren't joking when they said you were a legend. One percent damage. Probably when we hit that rock. It's a lot of likes. the connection levels. <laughs> Woo! Slowly making that star. Okay, it's time. Do you mind connecting us to the network? Load my billion packages now. Sam, as always, thanks for bringing more folks into the UCA. Uh, you got it, bud. New interview data required meals and drone syndrome, bridge babies, and time fall. New features have been added to your cufflinks, mail, and data. New options have been added to your delivery terminals, recycle. Oh gosh, I'm call the marks. Umbrella. Some. Oh, must be marks from other people. Hmm. The series not going to have the time number. Name blah, 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 blah. Looks like we're on the chiral network. And with those materials we can run for our chiral printer, we can produce supplies for you here as needed. Think of it as our way of returning the favor. Now head west and keep on doing what you do. All right, you got it. Hi. Good. The distro center is on the network. Sam, do me a favor. Take your BB to a private room and connect it to the incubator. Got it. Good work. Can I make the delivery now? Awesome. That's it. What about all the rest of the shit on my back?
Here you go, recycle that shit. I hope that was the right thing to do. Thank you for your continued support. Okay, so that was a good thing to do. Was there something else to recycle? No. Not to my knowledge. Into or remove item from a share locker. Let's go to our private room. <laughs> Gotta get our BB fixed up. Dead man, you there? Little help. Okay, Sam. Remove the pod and connect it to that incubator. It's in. Good. Uh, a temporary excess of stress. Easily addressed mm -hmm. if we return it to its mother's womb. Mother? Located in the capital, not city, ICU. Brain dead, of course. Ah, uh, you mean still mother? Correct. A still mother's womb facilitates a connection between the world of the dead and the BB. And you, in turn, connect yourself to a BB, granting you the ability to sense BTs. Hmm. These pods were designed to simulate the conditions inside a still mother's womb. Oh, I love that. BBs need they to put that much thought into it if he's behind the window and messing properly. with his voice. That's awesome. However, we can only maintain this deception for so long, which is why we must periodically update the environmental data by synchronizing it with a still mother via the chiral network. There. The update is in progress. Right now, the pod is synchronizing with the Steel Mother in Capital Knot City and reconfiguring its settings based on the latest data. Hmm. Interesting. Returning your BB to the womb in this manner will temporarily reduce its stress levels. That being where it technically belongs, of course. Kid looks happy. I'll try adjusting the oxytocin dosage. Autotoxemia should set in much slower from now on. <sighs> uh, you should remember that BBs are just equipment. Try not to get attached. Each one has been physically removed from its steel mother's womb. A process that renders them unpredictable and prone to failure. No BB oh. on record has remained in service for over a year. Uh, it may need to be retired before this expedition is over. Well, now I want to see how long it'll last. You're saying there's no way to keep my BB alive? Uh, you must understand. There is still a great deal we don't know about BBs. As we expand the chiral network and recover more past data, perhaps we'll find our answers. Uh, oh, right. You asked me to look into why the BTs might be reacting to your blood. I spoke with Hartman. We should have your results soon. Anyway, get some rest. You and your BB are both exhausted. <sighs> Good night, Sam. Why does he handcuff himself to the bed like that? London Bridge is falling down, falling down. I hate the 
this song. Falling down, London Bridge is falling down, my fair lady. Sam? Can you see me? How are things over there? Still not under guard. Still not chained up. Still can't leave. But if you can keep making connections, if you can get to me, we can go back east. Back home. Thank you. I mean that. It's bad. There are fewer and fewer people in the cities these days. No one's having children anymore. But humans aren't made for living alone. They're supposed to come together, to help one another. And if we as a people can't do that, if we can't reconnect, then, well, it's like Bridget said, extinction. Come on. Rebuilding America isn't going to get rid of the BTs. As long as they're still around, there's no escaping it. But at least we'll have hope. I'll be waiting, Sam. Waiting for you. Come and find me. Kablooey. Hello, Sam. This is Hartman. Since you're Hello. awake, it might behoove you to freshen up. To that end, why not take a shower? It's good for the body and soul, and also my research, as it happens. Fair enough. Same figurine. Oh, they, this, this, the figurines are slightly switched. I know, kitty, but you're sitting on top of my arms. Try to steal my phone. I think I saw there were other... <laughs> Look at this shit. <laughs> oh, it's the figurine from the table. Oh, it's going around all the BTs. And then the two guys that died in our little explosion back then. That's cool. Let's adjust our glasses and the monster still. Nothing else. Put your sunglasses on. Why not? Why not? Go ahead and drink a monster, man. You enjoy that shit. Oh, he's chugging the shit out of that thing. Damn, goodbye monster, man. Like, oh, damn. Let me boost it to 25% so he can drink even more monsters, is what you're saying? that. 
and check on our BB. We got a little astronaut in there. Looks like a dead astronaut. Check out the equipment rack, I guess. Why not? scheme. Hey, got likes. Oh, you see the fucking shit over there? That's what I wear. <laughs> What's going on in the terminal? Mail. Thanks for the rare metal, Sam. Everyone at the distro center really appreciates you coming through for us. I'm afraid I got some bad news for you, though. That bike is outside. His battery's dead. You'll have to get it some juice if you want to use it. Only need to do it once, though. Auto charger should kick in after. Sorry if we got your hopes up. And, uh, got some more bad news for you, too. Jesus Christ, all bad news. You see, different facilities have to work together, share materials, so everyone gets what they need. And to make sure that everyone... Make sure that everything that's produced gets put to proper use. That's why guys like you are so important. Without porters, the whole system falls apart. The whole world, even. Anyways, this is guy, George Baton, the guy we met earlier. Over at the way station, that's where we just were. He used to be a reliable porter. But lately, it's like pulling teeth getting him to make even the simplest deliveries. He's bitching about being scared or not having enough oxy or whatever. Always some excuse. And when he does agree to make a run, he's liable to lose half his load en route. So yeah, that's why we're a bit short on materials at the moment. I'm sure you'll... S Soon help us put that to rights. We're counting on you, Sam. Fair enough. I'm George Baton. Ah, oh, so much reading. Sam the man, our savior. Things are looking up here at the way station. Everything feels better somehow. We all, we were all bright-eyed and bushy-tailed when we set ourselves up. But three years of isolation and loneliness will change anyone's tune. Hell, when we first got here, we were putting up signs for porters and whatnot. But after a while, some guys got too scared to even set foot outside. When Central went up, I told myself that was it. America's done. Everyone was feeling it too, and the moon was just bleak. And then you waltzed on in. I know what you're thinking at first. I thought it was just the oxytocin, oxytocin. Too, but that's not it. Not at all. Not all of it, anyhow. You, know. you gave us the glimmer of hope we needed to um, bring it to the trailer network. Oh, we're back in the game now. Been thinking of putting up signs again, even watchtowers, too. But before long, we'll be opening up new delivery routes. Mark my words, it's still scary out there. Though all the oxy in the world won't help us deal with mules, let alone BTs. We shit ourselves every time we get sight of one and end up dropping half our equipment. Honestly, a part of me is still a little worried about what we won't be able to keep up. Keep it up. And that's why we need you, Sam. You're not scared of anything, right? So go show us how it's done. So much reading, dude. Data. Tips. God, I'm just going to... So many. 
Interviews. I don't feel like reading all this shit. And we can save. received let me go to the bathroom real quick I guess and we'll go ahead and do a little shower shower <laughs> right with Norman Reedus <laughs> of course he had to plug his own show Alright, take the shower they want you to take. <laughs> you are not wrong. Yeah, same here. Study other people with dooms? Yep, exactly. <laughs> That's exactly what's going on. beneficial to you. There was an old research paper detailing the effects of bodily fluids from individuals like us on BTs. It is only by recovering these materials that we can unearth the knowledge of the past. Not just the death stranding, but also the mystery of your body's unique properties and even our doom's affliction. Mm. There may well be hope for humanity. Sam, I have no interest in rebuilding America. I want to recover the past. Five, oh, four, it's almost three, time. Two, one. After you make your connections and nothing happens, then what? I said, then what? <laughs> Sam. Sorry to bother you while you're taking a break, but I figured you'd want to hear this. Oh, maybe it'll help you rest easier. What you got for me? We received a number of messages addressed to you. And I've not taken a look myself. Well, but I gather they're mostly from your clients. You should see if they contain any useful information. Mail can be accessed via your cufflinks, as well as the terminal in your private room. Hmm. There's something else I'd like to share with you. With the Cairo network, we now have the power to reclaim our past. Data once thought lost forever from every corner of America can be pieced back together from fragmented records. Our archives are still a work in progress, of course. But as we expand the network and integrate more way stations and cities, we'll be able to recover more and more information, such as the previous expedition's logs and reports. Everything they <laughs> sent back was lost when Central Knot City was destroyed. Now we've managed to restore some Sorry, already. The cat's fact. flopping around. <laughs> you can access them from a private room terminal or your cufflinks by selecting archives. Might make for interesting reading. Fair enough.
Yeah, I should start working my way to bed. Do you a quick save before we cut it though. I appreciate everybody who came and watched. Or even just popped in. I shall see you guys tomorrow at some point.